Top 10 Fake Beggars Who Were Caught Red-Handed What if we tell you that the beggar you've been donating money to is not an actual beggar and has a better life than you? We're not even kidding, and most of them are richer than you can ever be. Welcome back to your favorite YouTube channel, and we are back with another banging episode. Today we're going to expose the top 10 fake beggars who were caught red-handed. Before moving on, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon never to miss an update. Let's have a look at who there is at number 10. Number 10. Fake Mental Illness At number 10, we have a man that fakes his mental illness. We're talking about the mastermind, not other than Gary Thompson. His family confessed that he'd been faking a mental illness and using the wheelchair for money. His family had had enough of his criminal activity and had filed a complaint against him. On a major news broadcast, Thompson admitted that he was faking his illness to make more money. We seriously pity these people. Number 9. Fake Homeless At number 9, we have a fake homeless person. A passerby realized that a panhandler was scamming people. He would go out with a sign indicating he was homeless and ask for money, but after his labor was through, he would return home to his residence. The individual who discovered this funded the Vale family, a YouTube channel. They also conducted some very outstanding investigation work. They tracked him down, videotaped him begging, and then returned to his home. And even all of this wasn't enough. The individual had a brand new automobile and resided in a spacious home. This beggar claimed he had no idea what the YouTuber and camera crew were talking about. And this sometimes proves you might not get off with the clever ones. Number 8. Mercedes-Benz Beggar At number 8, we have the Mercedes-Benz Beggar. While we talk about beggars being rich and cunning, some beggars are still in poverty and don't have much themselves. There's another exceptional story we're going to unfold. A pregnant mother and her small kid were panhandling on the streets of the San Francisco area one day when she went away and got into a Mercedes-Benz, and the passerby confessed. When this was shared on social media, many came forward to say that they had seen her do the same thing. She became well known in San Francisco and her deception was exposed on television. When questioned about it by a reporter, she initially claimed that the lady in the photo was not her. However, a facial recognition specialist stated unequivocally that it was her. This woman might still be out there, so be cautious if you encounter her panhandling in San Francisco. Number 7. Fake Beggar in the Middle East At number 7, we have fake beggars in the Middle East. European and Asian countries are not the only ones who've been victims of getting scammed at the hands of beggars. There have been a lot of cases reported in the Middle East as well. One such incident occurred in an Arab country. The footage showed a family out on the street with a man who claims to be disabled. From the footage, you can clearly see how he can't walk and pushes himself to the ground but there's much more to come. When the family was collecting donations, a surveillance camera caught this disabled man napping on the stairwell. And not only this, after some time, he was seen getting up and taking off his beggar clothes and walking away normally. We would literally be frustrated if this might have happened with us. Number 6. Highway Widow At number 6, we have the Highway Widow. If you spotted an old widow begging on the side of the road, you would most likely assist her because we'd help too. Something in our brains causes us to care a lot more about the elderly. Her sign stated that she needed money, and many people donated money to her. But that's when a man called Daniel saw her counting her money in a brand new automobile. It only goes to show that you should be wary of anyone begging for money on the street. Number 5. Fifth Avenue Beggar at number 5, we have the Fifth Avenue Beggar. Fifth Avenue is one of the places you'll see rich people getting scammed by sneaky beggars. After all, what better place can there be to have such scams than the posh streets of Fifth Avenue? However, this high-end street is also a hub for the city's scam artists. One of these fraudsters was a woman. Initially, this woman seemed to be a helpless old woman on crutches having a hunchback. But there is always a spying eye that is watching you. A man on 5th Avenue was observing this woman, and something she did was unusual. The man noticed that this lady empties her mug of coins into her purse as soon as it gets full. This way everyone would think no one is donating her money. When followed, this old lady entered a van and came all dressed well without any support. And not only this, the next day, she was spotted on a shopping spree from yesterday's donations. When confronted, she denied it. 
So guys, if you ever get to see her on Fifth Avenue, beware. Number four, PhD beggar. Coming into the number four, the PhD beggar. This beggar was not a nasty con artist. Instead, he was a desperate and had no choice but to make something up. When we got to know him, this guy was a retired Indian school teacher. Dinesh Duavedi held a PhD and received a monthly pension of 35,000 rupees, about $500. Now, you might be wondering why he would beg on the streets of Jaipur if he had a job and a salary. Later, it was found that his son was a drug addict. His son would rob him of his money while injuring him. Due to a lack of funds, he had no alternative but to stage an injury and beg on the street. The media ultimately caught on to this and exposed him, yet many still felt sorry for him. He was transferred into a care facility by his neighbors so that he could be looked after. Number 3. Fake Chinese Beggar At number 3, we have a fake Chinese beggar. We might often come across a lot of beggars. However, the one who is handicapped might get the most attention of ours. And not only this, we might even end up giving him a donation as well. This guy claimed to have no legs and hands. Moreover, he used a skateboard to move around the city and beg. While he is a pro at depicting himself as a guy with no hands and feet, many passerby recognized him. He might be acting the smartest one, but in reality, he's a complete jerk. One of the passersby claimed that he saw him counting his money using his own hands at the end of the day. As the passerby stated, he took money in his hands and counted it. What made us feel sad is that he's not the only one lying to everyone, but he's also stealing money from beggars with actual disabilities. Come on! Number 2. Fake Beggar in Pakistan At number 2, we have a fake beggar in Pakistan. Yet another story about the same thing is going on. As usual, another beggar is seen to be pretending he's disabled, but this time it's in Pakistan. Initially, a passerby saw this beggar and contacted a journalist to expose him. When the journalist went up and confronted the beggar, he first started to ignore him. He then started walking with his sticks and was showing that he had an actual disability. However, he finally became bored of the journalist interrogating him. And guys, he then actually went away without his sticks. In the end, we think this reporter did a terrific job since he most likely saved folks a lot of money. Number 1. A Man With A Fake Disability At number 1, we have a man with a fake disability. This fake beggar resides in the middle of an active street in China. If you look at him, you'll find he has no legs and he crawls on the ground. He lies on the ground and uses wheels to move around. If you ever get to see him, you'll feel empathy for him. However, he is actually a scammer and has no severe disabilities. As he is pretending to have no legs and crawled in the streets begging, a passerby recognized him and exposed him. All in all, we're glad this beggar was fake. Otherwise, this might have created a huge controversy. Be careful next time when a beggar asks you for help. There are possibilities they might be faking it. So which of the beggars do you find to be the smartest? Share with us in the comments section below. If you liked the video, share it with your friends and make the tiny thumbs up red. See you soon with another exciting episode of the Top 10. Till then, take care and bye-bye. Bye-bye.